What's up guys, my name is Walter Fernandez. Welcome to an episode, the first of many, of a brand new series called Hey man, it's Friday night, why are you home? And I'll be like, hey man, it's my life, whatever I want to do, it's my life, wherever I want to go, it's my life, whom I want to love, ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyways, I was on Instagram just scrolling through everyone's stories and watching everyone live their lives while I watched mine go by. And I came across Julia Trotti's story. Julia Trotti? Trotti? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyways, she is an Australian-based portrait photographer. She's great, by the way. I'm a massive fan of her work. Like, literally one of my favorite portrait photographers out there. She does YouTube as well. I can genuinely say I've probably watched every single video of hers in the last four years or maybe three years. Anyways, I saw in the story that she made an editing app. I was like, an editing app? Like a photo editing app? And then the next story she mentioned it was free. I was like, oh, yeah, I should totally check it out if it's totally free. So I use an Android so I, and I downloaded it on the Play Store. It's called Digital Film. I don't know why it's called DFAP here, but it's Digital Film App. I don't know, there's an extra A there. Uh, anyways, the starts off like this, the home page. And uh, to get started, tap on the plus button to import photos from your library. So I already used Lightroom for my professional work on the computer. So I don't really need another editing app for professional work. What I do want to try is if I could get an app that I could use for, you know, just uh, casual everyday phone pictures. So I'm going to be uploading some pictures I take on my phone and then see what results I can get from this. So I just selected the photos. Now it's importing five photos. All right, fairly quick. So let's start with this. And whoa, 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 subscribe to access all presets. What? This is not free. Um, but it's very cheap though. It's just 57 ringgit, 58 ringgit per year. It's fairly cheap. Anyways, let's not do this first. Let's see what... Okay, you can use the app without... That's just for the presets. Okay, that makes sense. So let's jump into the first photo and... What's this? These look... Are these filters? Ah, uh, okay. So these... I think these are filters. Yeah. Some of these look good, by the way. Um... Fields looks good on this. Oh, I love this. Mountains on this photo looks pretty good. Let me see Aspen Mountains. Uh, fall, fall. Oh, saturated. Pretty nice though. I love it. Oh, oh, you can actually see it. Um, wait, that's this for 40. Oh, for 15 ringgit, you can buy the in. Oh, you can buy packs. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I'll probably buy some of these, but I, I, I like I like that I can see it first before I purchase it, so I can tell how useful I, like some of these things are. Oh, okay. Can I just exposures here? Not a lot, but still, uh, I feel like phones usually capture pretty good exposure right off the bat, so you probably don't really need to move that. What's next? Colors. Oh, I can adjust the white balance as well. I'd probably get this there. Let me see. I'm gonna try and edit this photo the way I will. Oh, interesting. So normal Malaysian sunsets actually, when it's like a clear sunny uh, sunset, the clouds actually turn pink. So this actually, this is actually what it would look like if the sky wasn't like on, on the side of the sun, if it wasn't uh, full of clouds in that area, it would be this color. <laughs> Oh, it's interesting. You can adjust the intensity of the highlights. Probably bring it down if we just want to add a little bit. Let's try and add a little bit of yellow to the highlights. Nah, actually, you know what? It doesn't work out. Okay, can cancel that. Uh, shadows and blue tint to kind of match the uh, sky a little bit. I do want to bring down the, the shadows though. How to bring down the shadow? Oh, no. How do I bring down the shadow? Do I just increase contrast? I guess this is the only way to do it. Oh, oh, oh wait, but I can't, I can't make the shadows deeper. I can just make it, oh, I can just lift them up and this brings highlights down. Okay, okay, so I can just flatten them. Nice, so it's a pretty simple app so far. Let me try another one. Okay, so, 
story time. I got into an accident and I just took this photo uh, of like police in front of my car. Uh, I did not hit someone, by the way. Someone hit me. Anyways, put this. Oh, this looks good. Let's try and edit this a little bit darker. Contrast a little higher. Bring the exposure back up. <laughs> Sorry. So the white balance actually works in black and white and it treats it as okay got it so the white balance still works at black and white as a overlay on top of the black and white same as tins sharpen do i want to sharpen this a little bit green or oh, more green more green black and white more green let's see okay i pump pumped the green all the way up and it still looks it looks good. Next, let's try one last photo. Okay, which one should we get? This one. This one looks nice. I like the warmth in this one. Let's see, is wild look good? No, I think this one. This one looks like, this one looks almost filmic. So, very nice. This one. Actually, you know what? I'll go with this one. Then, let's see. Let's edit this. Bring down the exposure a little bit. Bring down the contrast. I'll bring up the contrast a little bit more. Okay, color. Then you change the white balance a little bit. No, I want to keep it warm. I like the warm tones in this one. Let's keep it. Let's keep it at zero. Okay, just a little magenta and a saturation. I'll leave it as it is. Highlights, shadows. I don't think I want to add any of that. Highlights. Nope. Nothing. Shadows. Nope. This is good. Very nice. A little bit of green. Let's see it before and after this. Okay, this is nice. I love this. So my thoughts on this app so far as I've used it for the first time is that I think I'll be using this as my everyday photo editing app, like uh, basically stuff that I take on my phone. I just probably throw it in there and just do some quick edits to like make it look how I feel like I want to look and then just like, you know, put it out if I want to. Um, I think it's really fun. I actually like how simple the design is and honestly how limiting it is, which is actually a good thing because you know, it's not a bad thing for something to have limitation like this because it serves its function. It doesn't actually let you go too far. Like it doesn't let you, it doesn't give you that option to mess it too badly. I mean, you still can obviously, but I think the good thing is that it kind of limits you a little bit you know instead of like giving you uh giving us the entire option to just like really screw up a photo oh one last thing i really like i like the i like the highlights and like shadows like the the, the split toning effects that are, are available there it's really cool and like how the colors are limited to like those five options i i think that's really cool um, because again, this the whole app I feel like is designed for simplicity and for the everyday use. So yeah, go check the app out. It's available on Android as well as uh, iOS and uh, I hope you have a fun time with it. It's free to use, but uh, I will probably be purchasing some of the packs of the presets just to try them out. If any of you guys try it out, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, like it please. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you want some more videos of my face. And that's all I have for you for this uh, Friday night. See you in the next video.